What is up guys? Welcome to another segment of Chasing Northern Wisconsin 50 Inchers. Uh, just before we start today's video, just want to explain a few things about using uh, pike for muskies. Uh, the big thing is it's perfectly legal in the waters up here. Uh, you can keep five, no minimum length. Uh, the DNR actually really does want the snake pike out of the lakes. Um, it, they just don't do anything good for them. Like I said before, they're piranhas. They eat a lot of the fry. Um, of new of new fish, you know, bluegills, crappies, smallmouth, everything. One of the biggest things you guys won't need to realize is that muskies spawn later than pike. So you got to think uh, when those little musky fries are hatching up here, um, they're perfect, perfect bait for the newly uh, pike that just hatched, you know, a month before. So that's kind of the big thing, you know, that's those small hammer handle pike. They just they eat a lot of things. They're they're abundant up here. So just got to realize everything is checks and balances. So too many pike is bad. Uh, less pike means they're going to get bigger as well. So it all goes hand in hand. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoy uh, today's video. I'm very excited for you guys to see it. But yeah, just remember, uh, it's no secret that, uh, you know, big fish fall victim to live bait. Uh, with any species, you know, smallmouth, largemouth, pike, and uh, obviously muskies. So, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What is up, guys? Welcome to another muskie hunt up in the north woods again, obviously. Fishing with good buddy Mike. Mike, should we say that we've been fishing for the last four hours on New Moon and we haven't seen a muskie yet? Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. No, we suck. <laughs> we suck. They suck. I don't know. I'm going to blame the fish, though. But yeah, fishing New Moon today should be good. You know, you you read all the articles, you you see all the research on it, and yes, the moon plays a factor, but not yet. We even got up here, got out uh, before moon set today. Moon, I'm not sure how that works, but yeah, not good. So uh, we're gonna keep pounding here. I'm gonna fish all day out here, and uh, hopefully catch one. Nice, musky. That would be a muskie. Nice job, Mike. Nice job, Mike. Up, up, up. Got her! <laughs> Brother man! Yeah. Wow! Oh, man. We just yeah. shot the intro! Yeah. <laughs> that hey, was... Good job calling the spot. <laughs> yeah, new spot, new fish. This is great. Awesome. Holy crap. I did not see that coming. All right, remember when I was talking crap about New Moon? Well, here we are. <laughs> Musky in the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here she is. Wow. Man, heavy girl. Dude. Not a big one, but gosh, gosh. What a nice, heavy fish. I mean, look at that, baby. Oh, she's not, gonna pop. Up. I know, we might need a release. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna measure this one. We do know it's a nice fish, we needed it. We're just gonna put her back. Wow, perfect. That thing is going to get big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that is a healthy, healthy fish. And she goes. Wowza. Just twitching some cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that was fun. Haven't done that in a, in a little while. Right. Kind of get absorbed into the bucktail bite. Yep. It's like, man, you got to try something different. Yep. Usually I'm the one twitching cabbage. And Mike literally made a couple casts working a twitch bait. And uh, boom, we got a muskie in the boat. I literally just pulled out the camera. And a uh, new spot for both of us. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Get back at it. Yes, absolutely. All right, well, I'm no dummy. I am going to go switch to a uh, twitch bait as well. A little CXT six and three quarter twitch bait. Yeah, slow morning. Threw rubber all morning. Threw some top water. Threw some glide baits. Uh, bucktails all morning. And literally, a couple casts in, Mike throws a twitch bait. Uh, new spot. And we got one in the boat. So that's pretty awesome. A uh, two fish day would be awesome. I, it's only about, I don't know, 10 o'clock or so. A 40 inch would be awesome. I mean, that's a good start though. A nice mid 30s, fat mid 30s, that's always good. But yeah, we got a nice windy day. Gonna be warm, new moon. What more can you ask for? Come on, 45 incher, 45 incher. Oh, here you go. Oh, 
41, 42. Oh yeah, she's still there. Okay, that's cool to see. Another follow. Uh, we do have a pike out. That size fish is about perfect to uh, eat that pike. So uh, cool to see, nice thick, uh, about 40 inch. That was cool to see. Come on, pike, do your magic. Oh my gosh, Mike. <laughs> That's a good sign. We've been waiting on this fish for a while now, and uh, things are happening at that bobber. Definitely getting chased, or it just got grabbed. Come on, just take it. We just anchored the boat, drifted it back, and uh, something's happening here. Oh wow, he just got. He just got really scared. I wonder if that was a pickup. That was, oh, wow. felt big. I wonder if that was a pickup. That was like a big, oh yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I was just reeling it, we were just done. And uh, yeah, he just got picked up. He just got picked up. Let's go uh, chase this fish, huh Mike? <laughs> no, he just dropped it, I think. Dang. Oh, here you go. What is that? Is that a, what was that thing? I don't know, I didn't see it. It was small, I think it was a small little muskie. <laughs> we don't need to uh, make him smart. We gave up on the muskie that uh, followed me in. Uh, I had some kind of close calls with the pike, but nothing real serious that's on the new water. Not sure if that was a muskie or what. It was it was small though. Oh, muskie just porpoised. Really? See that? Yeah. Just porpoised. Nicer fish. Oh, here you go. Like that pause. Dang it. Ah, dang it. That fish just porpoised. I should have just kept speeding it up. That thing was so hot. But it really liked that pause for a second. Looking at a pike right now. It is looking at probably a pike right now. That was crazy. That thing, uh, saw that thing porpoise and uh, came flying in, went around a few times. That was cool. <laughs>
Take my long lead, pop them like that. Now I got some fresh bait. It's time to catch a muskie on this guy. Okay, something just happened with the sucker. I mean the pike. I think that's a fish on it. My GoPro's not. Well guys, my uh, chesty's not working. Pike just got picked up. I'm gonna spin the boat, hopefully get some footage for you guys. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, that's just the name of the game. Camera sucks up that. Yeah, these things, these, I don't understand what happens. When something cool happens, of course they're not gonna work. But anyways, I got this camera running. Pretty cool stuff. All right, here we go. Got her, got her, got her, got her. Got her. I can't believe my uh, GoPro's not running for that. But it is what it is. Um, let's get this girl unhooked. Oh, I can't believe it's not running, but it's a beautiful muskie in the bag. <laughs> the pike worked. <sighs> a terrible, terrible net job. But I got her in the boat. <laughs> All right, folks, finally did it. Got a fish on that pike. Uh, the rumors are true. I mean, we, we learned from the last time we were out with that 37 inch pike. Let's get this uh, awesome, beautiful fish. It's not real long, but it is fat. Such an awesome animal. Okay, let's get her out. Come on, girl, let that steep again. Holy crap, she's heavy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What a beautiful northern Wisconsin muskie right there. So thick, this is awesome. New moon, baby, I'm so happy I came out. What an awesome, awesome fish. Let's get a bump. Oh my gosh, she's so heavy. Oh, she's so heavy. All righty, right at 46. 46 inch your thick fish. Incredible. I'm so happy I went out today. New moon, got out here at around six o'clock. And finally at five o'clock, we got a beautiful, heavy, awesome monster of the Northwoods. I can't believe they get bigger. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, wait. All right. Tensing up there, girl. I know you had a fun little fight there. Incredible fight. Finally. Finally, I got a good one on some home water. It's been a struggle this season. It has been a struggle this season to get dialed in, but oh, what a way to do it. You good girl? She's tensing up on me. There she goes. There she goes. Come on. I want to I want to feel that. I want to feel a nice hard kick from me. You're an old fish. Been around the block. There you go. That is incredible, guys. That is incredible. Look at that gorgeous musky go. I thought she was just going to be a fat 43. 46 inch here. Uh, definitely my biggest northern Wisconsin muskie. 
ever. <sighs> New moon. There's so much time left too. Looks like I gotta find another pike friend and uh, get him down there again. Incredible, incredible. That's all I gotta say. <sighs> I'm so happy that happened. Incredible. <laughs> I can't even believe I got in the net. <laughs> I wish you guys could see like the whole thing. What all happened, I doubt you got it on that front bow cam, but I'll just kind of run through it. Hopefully I did, but on the quick set hooks were hooked on the edge, uh, edge of the bag on the opposite side. So I had to drop my rod, grab the hoop of the net and just try to force her in there. And she did it, we got her in there. Unreal, unreal. Well friends, looks like I'll just keep on casting. Freaking awesome. Like I said, got a few more hours to go. I got a moon set or moon rise coming up around 8.30. Don't know which one it is. Uh, wasn't, didn't happen in the morning, but that doesn't really matter. <laughs> if, who knows? I just can't believe they, those, these things in here get bigger. Um, I want one so bad. I want that magic 50 mark. <sighs> Maybe it'll happen today. Crazier things have happened. When they're rolling, they're rolling. Just got to keep on them. I'm still working that twitch bait that I was earlier this morning. It's go time. I want that 50. <laughs> I can't even imagine what that's like. <laughs> And that is a wrap, folks. Uh, yeah, muskies being muskies. Get that one bite around 5.30 and then no more action. Yeah, moon set, moon rise. I still haven't looked at that. That was at uh, 8.29 and yeah, no action there either. Uh, Michael and I, we got out around 6 and uh, moon rise or moon set was 6.20, 6.23. So we got out at, you know, supposedly peak times that you want to be out, but uh Definitely was a midday kind of deal. Um, what really shocked me was when uh, the clouds came in. Uh, no action during that time. It was, all the action seemed to be when it was sunny. So pretty cool stuff. I am just so jacked. Finally, a good one in the new home water that uh, I just moved to. So very, very, very excited about it. It's definitely been a learning curve. You know, I'm fishing bodies of water that, you know, they don't get the stocking like uh, back home where, uh, you know, Madison fishery just gets loaded with fish. Uh, granted, there's more pressure down in Madison, but it is a bummer that uh, up here, you know, the, the stocking numbers just aren't where they used to be, which definitely makes uh, fishing a little bit harder in this area when there's less fish. Uh, fishing is generally harder, but uh, I, I understand the, the argument of pike are just as cool as muskie, which I agree totally. But one thing you got to remember is that the fisheries up here are de designed to be musky fisheries. So with that being said, you can't have so many predators. It's just, you need a balanced system. And those small pike, they're piranhas. They really are piranhas. They eat everything. Less pike usually means bigger pike. So, you know, you look at, you know, waters that are just completely full with muskies. Um, those muskies don't get as big, you know? So it just, everything needs to be a balance. So using pike up here, the DNR really does want these pike out of these waters. They don't help, so just a little explanation there. Again, uh, obviously you heard it uh, right away in the beginning, but uh, guys, thank you so much. Thank, without your support, I couldn't be doing what I'm doing. Just cannot thank you guys enough for the continued support. Every view counts, guys. Please leave a comment below what you guys think about the pike. Again, guys, hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Comment below. Uh, appreciate it, as always. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.